we're learning about uncertainty. We use uncertainty in our equations, and we have rules to see how they propagate through the equation. But often, we'll use the slope of a line. We'll make a graph, we'll do a fit, and get the slope of a line, and use the slope in a calculation. So the question is, how do we get the uncertainty in the slope? Well, Excel has a function for that. It's called Linest. So I'm going to make a little graph here. Here's some data on my x-axis. I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 10. And on my y-axis, I'm going to plot the corresponding points will be twice as big, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, up to 20. Now, if I plot this data, it's not going to be very interesting. These points all fall exactly on that line, and I'll get a slope of 2. So I'm going to change it just a little bit. So what I have here are the basically the same numbers, just tweaked a little bit. So they're not all going to be exactly on that line. This way, there'll be a little bit of error in the slope. So my numbers are almost that. My slope will be very, very close to 2, but it won't be exactly 2. So I'm going to plot this data. I'll select it and uh, insert a chart. And I always do a scatter chart with no lines connecting the points. I don't know why people always want to give me the plots, the charts with the lines and not the points in here. What did you just measure? You just measured these points. Don't give me lines where things <laughs> that you didn't measure. Just put what you measured on your graph, where each dot represents a measurement. Don't connect them. All right, now the next thing I always do when I insert a chart is to make sure the x and the y axis is correct. So here I'm going to just pick a point at random. I've got x equals 2, y equals 4. So I come over here, x equals 2, y equals 4. Excellent. It looks like I got it right. My biggest x value is 10. That looks about right on my graph. My biggest y value is almost 20. That looks about right. So it looks like I plotted them correctly. Uh, the x-axis shows up on my x-axis on my chart, and what I think is my y-axis actually did show up on the y-axis on my chart. Always check that. Now we want to fit a trend line to this data, so we'll select our graph and add a trend line. We'll click on trend line and bring up more options. And what we want to do is do a linear fit. And I don't know why this is not the default in Excel, but it's not. Um, the equation does not display. So I don't know why you'd add a trend line if you didn't want to see the equation. But I always click Display Equation and Display the R squared value. That tells you how good a fit the trend line is to the data. Now we come back over to our chart, and we can see here's our our equation, the slope is 1.9615, a little bit less than 2. We have a y-intercept that's not quite 0, but it's a very good fit, 0.998. Very good fit to a line, because I just tweaked the numbers a little bit. That's what I expected. But this will at least give me some error in the measurements. So we want to know, if we're using this slope in some calculation, what is the error in that slope? Well. Click on a cell, and we'll input a function. So equal sign, and the function is called linest. And as soon as you type in linest with the parentheses, it brings up this little box and prompts you. So the first thing it wants to know is what are the y values? Well, the y values are right here, cells 2 through 11 on uh, column E. So I'll just select those and I'll put a comma. Now I have to find the X values. Those are right here. Those are in column D, comma. Now I don't want it to force the Y intercept to be zero. I want it to calculate the Y intercept. So I'll type true, comma. And I want 
these statistics. I'm, that's why I'm doing this. I want to get these statistics on the error in the slope. So I'm going to type true here and then hit return. But you'll see all you have here is the slope. So this is the tricky part. You click on this cell and drag over and down. So you highlight a two by two array. Then you have to come up to the uh, formula bar and highlight the formula. And then you hold down the shift key, the control key, and hit enter. And when you do that, it fills in the array. So the upper left corner should be your slope. Always double check that, make sure those are the same. The upper right corner should be the y-intercept. Check that, make sure they're the same. The number below the slope is the error in the slope. So that's the number we're looking for. And the number below the y-intercept is the error in the y-intercept. I'm not sure why, but we tend not to use y-intercepts. We just use slopes a lot. So these are the two numbers we care about. The slope is 1.96 plus or minus 0 0.03. Now this is for Excel on a Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, it's going to be slightly different. The keystrokes will. And if you're using Google Sheets, it'll be a little bit different too. Let me walk you through Google Sheets. This is the exact same data, X and Y. So I'm going to uh, highlight that data and insert a chart. I don't like these line charts. Make that go away. I like scatter charts with no lines. There we go. That looks nice. And always double check to make sure my X values up to 10, my Y values up to 20. Good. Looks like it's all plotted correctly. Now I want to add a trend line. So I bring up the chart editor and I uh, look through here. I go to customize. I go to series and I click trend line under series. And once I click trend line, it gives me some options. I would like a linear trend line in this case. You also have some other options there, power series or exponential, but linear is what I want. And then this is the secret <laughs> hidden here under label. It says use the equation. So that's, of course, we want to see the equation. And let's see the R squared value also. So now we can see uh, our equation 1.96 is the slope, 0.201 is the y intercept, and the R squared value 0 0.998. So those should be the exact same values that Excel gave us. What you do, you click on a cell over here the same way you did in Excel equals linus and we're going to get the uh, we're going to type in the y values first comma and then the x values comma true comma true and when you hit enter you don't have to do all this other silly stuff, uh, shift, control, enter, all that like you do with Excel. It automatically populates the cells. The upper left should be your slope. It should be the exact same slope we had in Excel. The upper right is the y-intercept. Just below the slope is the error in the slope. And just below the y-intercept is the error and the y-intercept. So those are the numbers we're interested in, typically these two numbers right here.